Hey y'all. So it's still July 7, 2016. And it would be my four year anniversary today. Instead of talking to you, I'd be having dinner with my husband that he made or out at, at a restaurant and drinks. I'd be drinking, not him, but instead I'm sitting here talking to you. Not that that's a bad thing. It is. <laughs> it's a sad thing. I miss my husband. You know, and this is one of those days that I really miss him. I took today off so that I could reflect. You know, cry a little, pray a little, sleep a little, and repeat over and over again until I felt better. I feel better now, but that doesn't mean... Um, that I won't cry right now. So just hang in there with me because you know how honest I am. But I miss the little things. The things I took for granted like phone conversations. And you're pro probably thinking, well, you should have phone conversations with your husband. I'm not talking about the conversations where it's, babe, we need some eggs. Babe, go to the store and get some milk. Oh, I forgot to put this on the list. Can you get some seasoning? No, I'm talking about the, in the middle of the day, hey, beautiful, how you doing? Hey, babe, how you feeling? Everything going well? I was just thinking about you, conversation. Yeah, we were newly married. With only married three years, two months, and nine days. So I guess it would be something that he would still do. But it was something I took for granted. Because he would call me at work and I'd be like, oh, I can't believe, what do you want? You know, I'm at work, why are you calling? I'm fine attitude Fuck. what I wouldn't give for that midday call was it from the deep voice with the smile behind it that said hello beautiful how are you what I wouldn't give to call him right now and hear his voice I think about the fact that he picked up our son and dropped him off every day without hesitation. And now I need to find different a different mode for him. I think about coming home and dinner being made three to four out of seven days a week, not having to think twice about it. Not only was dinner made, but my he would make me, I'd go in there and relax and I'd come in there with a plate that I would complain and be like, why'd you give me so much food? You know, I'm trying to lose weight. Instead of just saying, thank you. I think about how he draw me a bath. I think about when it was the lady time of the month. We didn't have a heating pad. He made me a heating pad. No, no, no. Made me one. Like hot towel in a big Ziploc bag and would warm it up every 30 minutes. <laughs> Dude. I think about when I was feeling down and he would rub my back or rub my head or hold me close. I think about everything. I think about when I would wear my crochet braids and my husband would braid my hair like I think about the things that I take for granted. If you would ask my his my husband about his wife, he would say, my wife is beautiful and she's intelligent. She's amazing. She's creative. She's phenomenal. She's intelligent. Did I say that already? The moon and the sun rose and set with my ass when it came to him. Like he would tell you too, she crazy as fuck, that mouth. But he would tell you that he loved me and you couldn't dare say anything about me to him and think it was okay. Like, I was his wife. He was my husband. And I wasn't always the best wife. God saw fit to make me his wife for a purpose. God knew that he needed me and unbeknownst to me, I needed him just as much. I think about how he wanted to be around me 
every chance he could. I couldn't go from the bedroom to the living room without my husband coming and wanting to be around me and watch a movie and touch me and rub me and talk to me and laugh with me and just... I took that for granted. I would be like, damn, give me some space. I just need some space. How fucking selfish. <laughs> oh, how selfish was that? How selfish and self-centered was that? Very. I take for I took all of that for granted, and the purpose of me talking to you about what I've done, is so that you don't end up in the same predicament as me. That you value your lover, your spouse, your intimate partner. That you value them, and they know it. That they feel appreciated. That. They went out of their way to go to the store and buy light, light bulbs for your whole house and put them in. Like, I appreciate you. That they take the trash out. That they cook you dinner. That they bought you your favorite candy. That they cut up watermelon just for you. You know, know something that's your favorite and make sure that you have it. It's the little stuff. I miss being able to climb up in the bed and smell it. <laughs> he used to always say, it, when you get out of the bed in the morning, babe, I roll over into your space because I can smell you. And I knew exactly what he meant, but I would never tell him what I wouldn't give to smell him right now. Crazy lady. <laughs> but I would give the world to curse him out. More importantly, to hug him and see him go like this for a kiss. I say this to you because unbeknownst to you, you may be taking someone for granted. You may be taking your parent, your child, your friend, your co-worker for granted. But your spouse, more importantly. Because when you look behind you, when it's all said and done, that's who's there for you. When the co-worker pisses you off, when your parent pisses you off, when the kids piss you off, hell, when they piss you off, they are still there for you. Hear me when I tell you. Appreciate them and love them now. The world we live in is so crazy, so volatile, so full of turmoil. You know, police killing people left and right and wives losing their husbands and husbands losing their wives consistently, constantly, in an instant. So you don't want to be like me wishing that you had took a moment to say thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you. Show gratitude. Show appreciation. Show love. Because you'll miss that kindness. You'll miss their patience. You'll miss their understanding. Take it from me. But God solved it. God has a plan. And I'm exactly where I should be in this moment. No matter how horrible it feels, I'm where God would have me. Hear me when I tell you. I'm talking to him. I'm all, hello, Lord. <laughs> and he's telling me, hello, daughter. I'm here. I hear you. Here's the lesson that you learned. Share it. <laughs> So as crazy as I sound to you, and you may not think that this is of importance, it is. Hear me when I tell you. Hello, Lord. <laughs>